Hi. <laughs> this is Jason, and this is Jay's Project Garage. Again. I really need to get better at this. I had all this thinking about it all week long, all the stuff I wanted to make videos on, and I'm a I'm a failure. I'm sorry. Forgot some stuff. Uh buddy of mine has been on me since last summer. His son bought a, I think it's an, I'm wanting to say it's an 86 or an 88 uh, Firebird. One owner, 86,000 miles, nice car. Um, gets in a fender bender in a parking lot. Uh, they wound up taking it to another body shop that was close to where they live. And they do a pretty crappy job. And he's on me, wanting me to fix what this other shop did. Well, that's about to happen, finally. But he keeps talking, and his son keeps talking about, I want to LS swap it, I want to LS, LS swap it. Right now, it's got a 305 tune port in it. It's an automatic. I want to LS swap it. Why? Are you going to turbo it? No. Well, there's no such thing as, as a budget LS swap. Just not. I mean, if you start figuring in the wiring harness and the computer and the, the transmissions in the car now is not going to live, it's probably a 700 R4 or something. All the exhaust has to be changed. F body sucked to put exhaust on. Uh, it's just a shit design. I mean, if you guys know anything about it, you can, you can only run exhaust on one side because of the way the floor pan shaped. I mean, that's. He's, you start the oil pan, the all the stuff that you're going to need to do the swap, and it's like twenty five hundred or three grand worth of stuff just to put the engine in the car to not really make any more power than what he's already got. I mean, yes, it will be more, but not enough more to justify the cost. I think he said he's got a budget of around ten grand. I can actually build him something that's fairly quick for ten grand, but. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't understand why so many guys fall into that. I got an LS in my car, but it's not really a whole lot faster than it was before with the 350 in it or whatever. Just so they could say that, yeah, I've got an LS swapped, whatever. Now, if you're talking about doing a turbo or something, yeah, okay, but it's it's not. It's still not going to live. I mean, I could take his budget and put a later model transmission in it and build a 350 and it could still be a tune port deal I, I can make 400 horsepower for the guy with a small block Chevy for probably less money than it would cost to do the LS swap um, but I don't know I'm supposed to meet him one evening this week after work I'm gonna look at the car I'm gonna talk to his son uh, and we're gonna figure out exactly what he wants I mean figure out what his expe expectations are and what he wants to do with the car you want to keep air conditioning you want cruise control? Do you want this? Do you want that? It's important stuff. As a builder, or even as a guy that's doing it for yourself, you have to you have to figure out what you want. I mean, what when I when I got the ninety one GT, I wanted to build a drag car, drag car, drag car, drag car. Time goes on, it's like man, I, I really just kind of like to have a street car. Time goes on, time goes on. I really like to have air conditioning. I don't really so much care about cruise control, but I'm 49 years old. I kind of like air conditioning. I don't like sweating my ass off in the middle of August, and it gets hot here in Indiana. Like, humid, stupid hot. It doesn't sound like it, it's, it just doesn't sound like it's any fun anymore. I don't know. I got enough cars where I can do something of everything if I want. I mean, I don't know. Keep it in mind. LS swap, LS swap, LS swap isn't always the answer. Sometimes you just stick with what you got and you can still get what you want. You guys have a great day and I'll see you next week.